Welcome back to my channel. I'm back in the video and I'm going to talk about Young Miami. Now, Young Miami, she went on her Instagram to speak about her views on marriage. So I'm actually going to play the clip right now. No, I don't want to get married. I don't want to get married because I feel like men are not faithful. And if I can't marry, that means I'm giving my life away to you. So that means like, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. And if I take everything personal, that's for one. So if I'm with you and you step out on me and you, you know, like I'm never going to forgive you. I might break. I, I might no. Forgive or don't forget. Okay, I'm not going to forgive you. I would never forget. Forget. And I just feel like if my husband cheat on me, I'm going to kill him. Like I'm going to bury you. For real, because like now you embarrass me, I'm hurt, I'm never going to get over it, and like now I can never look at you the same. So, and so as you guys saw, you know, Young Miami basically said that she has zero interest in ever getting married, and you know, I don't know why this became a hot topic, um, mostly like on the shade room and stuff like that. Um, but I think the reason why is because as much as Young Miami. And even just a lot of these artists have promoted this idea of, you know, being a city girl and not being tied down to a particular man. Their actions aren't <laughs> matching up with the words. And seeing how heavily involved she's been with Diddy, a lot of people suspected that this statement was cap and that if Diddy were to propose to her, she would say yes. And listen, we don't know her, and so we don't really know what she would do in that scenario if her and Diddy have even discussed marriage. I believe Diddy said himself he never wanted to get married, and if she also has the same ideals of never getting married, and then it makes sense why that type of partnership works because they don't have any expectations to get married. However, it's one thing to say you don't want to get married because of the social construct of it, because it's tied to the government, stuff like that. As opposed to it being like you being afraid of getting cheated on. I think that's maybe what kind of sparked the interest of the internet. Because they're just like, you know, you're already kind of setting yourself up in your mind to get cheated on. And, you know, you're putting it out there that you think that all people are. Like she said, she believes that a lot of men cheat. And so it was like, why would she sit there and get married and get attached to a man if they're just gonna cheat now i don't think that you should have that mentality but also a lot of women have that mentality now i'm fully aware that cheating unfortunately has become so normalized nowadays that i don't put it past anyone to um to do that to someone you know is i think it is really sad how normalized cheating has become to where because a lot of women are like well i don't want to get married to someone that's going to cheat and you know all men cheat and so by default i can never get married i i don't think that that's a healthy way to look at it but it even brings up like a bigger point because again as i said earlier there's nothing wrong with just not wanting marriage marriage isn't for everybody not everything is for everyone same thing with college like college is not for everyone marriage is not for everybody not everybody wants to get married um marriage doesn't work for everybody commitment monogamy all of that uh, you know all of those aspects they don't fit everybody <laughs> i don't believe everyone should get married there are some people who are probably married right now that should not be married and so you know i'm all for kind of like you know making the decisions that work best for you but like i said with her it feels like it's coming from a place of hurt it feels like it's coming from a place of she's gotten cheated on so many times in the past that she her trust in men is just at a zero to where she doesn't even want that bigger commitment because she's way too afraid that they're going to break that at some point. And I think it just really speaks to where our generation is. I feel like this has been a very hot button topic um, for, I want to say, at least the past two to three years. Not saying that people weren't talking about relationships before then, but it's become way more prominent now where everyone is talking about relationships, how they view relationships. And you have men and women kind of fighting each other and battling each other on how relationships should be. 
And I do think it's coming from a place of hurt. People are hurt. <laughs> people are hurting out here. I'm hurting. Okay? I, like, people are hurt. People are heartbroken. I feel like everyone is just operating from a place of hurt instead of trying to heal and trying to move forward and being open and being vulnerable. And listen, I get it. Like, right, even right now, like, I'm in a space where... You know, people in my life are suggesting that I should be getting out there. I should be dating and talking to multiple dudes. And I just, I view dating differently than most people. So I feel like a lot of times people just wouldn't get it. They wouldn't understand why I'm not really in a rush to talk to different men. I'm just someone that's very intentional about dating. I just, but also too, like I see why people are scared to put their heart on the line and to be vulnerable because it's scary. Because when you do all of that work to kind of bring those walls down and to be, you know, vulnerable and connect with someone, in the event that that person hurts you, it hurts 10 times more when you put your all into it. And it's like for a relationship to even get to a point of, you know, marriage, and like that bigger commitment, which a lot of women I feel like start out wanting, it takes a lot. And for you to put so much into a person just for them to cheat or for them to break your trust, it hurts. It's painful. And most people, they don't want to deal with that again. They don't. And you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I'm kind of like at that point too where it's like, I don't know if I want to do it again. Like, it's just because I am someone that is like 110% in. Like, I give my all. And it's like, if it doesn't work out, I just end up with nothing. And I have not mastered the skill of putting in just enough to be invested, but not too much to where I'm attached so that in the event that it doesn't work out, I can actually pick myself back up and move forward. I haven't mastered that yet. All I know is how to give every single ounce of me to the relationship, to that person, because I want it to work that badly. I take relationships super duper seriously. And so when they when they end... Um, you know, it hurts and that type of pain is, is literally unbearable. Like I cannot tell you guys, and I spoke about this in, you know, the video that I made coming up on a year now, actually, um, of my breakup that I went through last year. I like, I, I don't want to ever experience that again. So much so to where I'm like, I don't even know if I want to date anybody else. <laughs> Like, and I'm I'm being transparent about that. Like, I don't ever want to experience that amount of heartbreak ever again. And I know that you have to take that risk if you want to move on and find someone to find the person you're supposed to be with. You have to take that risk every time that you get involved with somebody. But I just, right now, the way I'm feeling right now today is I just don't want to, I, I don't want to experience that. And, you know, there's some women that, you know, they get to a point where they're like, you know what? No, I'm willing to put myself out there. I'm willing to take the risk. That's just not where my mind is right now. It's just for me to have experience just all those days of going to sleep crying, waking up crying, can't eat, can't sleep, can't get myself in the shower. I don't want to go through that multiple times trying to find the person I'm supposed to be with. So I'm at the point now where I'm like, you know what? I honestly might check out. <laughs> I honestly might check out because I just I don't even want to do it no more so I get it like I honestly get why people are just like keeping everyone at a distance they're not opening up they're not allowing people to get too uh, close to them because they don't want to get hurt people are hurting out here and I think that people aren't healing like at least for me I'm aware of the fact that I am not fully healed to be with another person right now and so that's why I'm not even putting myself in the predicament to waste someone's time because I know I'm not ready. But a lot of people don't do that. You know, they will hop into another relationship or they'll entertain certain people knowing they're not ready for that. And then they project all that hurt and all that pain on that person. And then they're, they're you know, confused as to why, you know, nothing's working out. And it's because you didn't take the time for yourself to, to heal. And, you know, I think it's just unfortunate because you can say what you want. Like, yes... People should not stay in marriages that aren't for them. And no, people shouldn't get married if they aren't 100% sure about the person. But let's keep it real. I do feel like more relationships nowadays are not lasting. Not just because people are, or women have, because, 
you can make the argument that back in the day women needed men right they needed men for certain things and so they were prompted to stay because they didn't really have the independence they didn't have the resources to actually leave their marriages so you can make the argument there the more people are leaving because they can and they have the resources to do that but also too let's keep it a book a lot of people aren't fighting for relationships anymore they're not people aren't fighting to make relationships work people are hopping from this person to that person they're cutting it off and like i said they're not even really getting themselves too involved so that if it ends because i feel like they're anticipating it to end so then they can hop to the next person or you'll have people that have sneaky links or backup plans um in case the person that they're with doesn't work out and i don't think that's the way that people should be moving i think that people should be moving with intention now of course this isn't this doesn't apply to everybody like i said some people that's not even their thing commitment isn't even their thing or they don't want commitment right now they want to date casually that's fine too like i said people want different things but i am talking to the group of individuals that they want to get married they want commitment but they're scared i'm talking to the people who really truly want that but they're just too afraid to go after it they're afraid to give people a chance again i am speaking as someone who is also like that but the difference is i'm not i'm not putting myself out there because i don't have a genuine interest in dating right now i just don't and i'm also not going to throw myself back out there when i'm not ready just to please other people i think that's the other frustrating thing too is that people keep trying to pressure me into dating when i'm not ready and i'm telling people i'm not ready but they feel like they know better than me like what's best for me right now and it's just you know but anyway back to the point at hand with young miami like i said i think that for her to say that she doesn't want to get married because she thinks she's going to get cheated on it, it doesn't sound like she just doesn't believe in marriage it just sounds like she doesn't believe in men and that sounds like something that she probably needs to heal from and so yeah i i don't know what's gonna happen with like our generation i'm gonna be honest with you like or even like because you see two people of older generations people are getting divorced left and right ever since the pandemic people's marriages have been falling apart every time we blink someone is getting divorced and yes you could argue that some of these divorces needed to happen you know depending on what was going on in those relationships like we just seen drew and ralph are getting a divorce but people are rejoicing in that because their their relationship was so toxic and so there are instances where marriages may need to end people may have ended up with the wrong person so i'm not disagreeing with that but i do think we are in a weird place right now where everybody wants love but no one wants to give it it's like everybody deep down, not everybody, but the people, y'all know, the people who I am referring to, y'all that want to get married, that want that, that person, you know, that, that want that as an end goal. There's so many people out there that are like that, but they are too busy hurting and trying to hurt other people in the process. That's why you see all these podcasts popping up, both men and women bashing each other telling each other like you know you know men are trash and women are trash and oh you know you're not a high value man and high value woman like there's just so much back and forth right now when it comes to dating and it really doesn't even have to be that deep and it's just like i i don't get it i i really do wish that everyone would just stop fighting each other so much when it comes to this whole dating conversation because it's like there's people out there that want true love i think people just have to again heal and give it a chance not everybody is you know trash there's a lot of trash people out here don't get me wrong a lot of trash people out here there are a lot of men cheating there's women cheating you know pe people cheat people are just people just suck they suck nowadays and i don't know what we have to do to get back on course because it just like especially within the black community as well like i just feel like black people are always fighting each other not physically fighting but just fighting each other and at odds and you know trying to tear each other down i feel like we are constantly tearing each other down when we need to be coming together you know especially in this climate and i, I just i don't know what it's gonna take for us to kind of all get back on one accord and again getting back on one accord doesn't mean everyone getting married but just being able to treat each other with love and respect and just not trying to you know hurt other people just because you were hurt 
I, I think that once we can kind of do the inner work to, you know, get that together, then we'll be okay. But I don't know if and when that'll happen. Um, cause right now it's just, yeah, it, it's a lot, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Do you think y'all Miami just genuinely doesn't believe in marriage or do you think it's coming from a place of hurt? What are your views on marriage? What are your views on the current climate right now with this generation, this new day and age when it comes to dating relationships and marriage? What are your overall thoughts? How are you treating the dating scene? Are you married? <laughs> let me know what your overall thoughts are in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.